in the College of Charleston to the CAA. Charlie, we don't have to welcome this gentleman into the CAA. He's, he was a dominant player, and you, you certainly have so few nightmares still left over, don't you? Well, I'll tell you what, he's a, it's like a homecoming for him. Uh, you know, he carried a great Navy team. Like, he did have some help, no, I think, the guy lot, they called the Admiral, I think, at that time. But he's one of the 25-year uh, all-stars right. in this league, and I'm, I'm sure it's fun to come back to this league. It really is. It's pretty amazing that uh, Tom Yeager is still the commissioner. So we were visiting last night about uh, some of the people that he was with, with the Naval Academy when we went to the Elite Eight in the first year of the CAA. And so it's uh, just nice to be back to the East Coast and, and share some of those memories. Now I'm curious, Doug, uh, as you bring a team that went 24-11 and 11 last year, you've got four returning starters, two top reserves. Did any of the coaches shake your hand out there? <laughs> Oh, and say no. welcome or no. get the hell back. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I, you, you never know how it's going to go. But, I mean, I am fortunate that uh, we do have – you know, you know, balance. We have experience coming back, but yet we're not a completely old team. We have a lot of young players as well. So uh, very fortunate in particular to have Anthony Stitt and Ajay Baru, a, a guard and a big guy who can defend a basket for you coming back in, in, the, in all of them, but those two in particular. Baru to me sounds like a difference maker. I have not seen him play, but I know you ended up in the finals of the Southern Conference Tournament with him last year, and uh, he had some amazing games. I think when he had double double against uh, what Louisville, I think, when early in the season. Well, and, he uh, he had he had, he averaged pretty much almost a double double for the year, mm -hmm. close in, in reboundings. But the neat thing about Ajay is he was a kid who was highly rated coming out of high school. He actually visited North Carolina on an official visit. So there were expectations for him that probably were maybe too much early on. And he really has developed, uh, you know, between last year and this year uh, in, in, in a nice way, in a way most college players should develop. He's got a really nice jump hook inside, can shoot the perimeter jump shot, became a very good free throw shooter. And so I expect him to really kind of be a leading rebounder in the league, not only this year, but next year as well. And also Anthony Thomas, Willis Hall, a couple other starters return. And again, blend. They score a little bit, but they can also rebound the basketball. Yeah, we really rebound the ball well. Uh, and then I'll throw in there a 7-2 kid, David Wishon, who sat out for us last year, that will be a big team, uh, will be a, a fairly physical team as much as the new rules will allow us. But, uh, um, you know, we're fairly versatile. Willis Hall is a kid that's a fifth-year kid. He tours ACL the year before I got to Charleston. Has just been a real rock for me as a leader and a role model for the younger guys. He can really stretch the defense. And Anthony Thomas is pretty versatile. He can play outside and inside. So I've got some weapons, and I think I'll have a little bit more depth this year than I did, than I did last year. You're definitely not going to take it easy on the guys. I looked at their early schedule. Uh, it's going to be pretty telling yeah. right off the bat. Yeah. Coach Cremens is a great guy, uh, <laughs> but uh, he had scheduled a three-game series with Louisville. And so we, uh, they beat us pretty good at home last year and they were very good as they won a national title um, but uh, we just said hey what a great recruiting tool we're going to go to louisville first i didn't know that they'd be hanging the national championship banner that day but uh, but we'll take it and then from there uh, really challenged ourselves i think it's the the challenge with our non-conference schedule that the conference wants uh, we're really trying to be in a position to be in a large team in the NCAA tournament or the NIT, and if you don't play somebody, you're not going to be in that position. Well, you got Miami, too, and, of course, uh, the, their coach we used to be in this league, and he had, probably was a coach of the year in the nation last year. Yeah, Coach Laranega, fortunate enough that uh, we're going to play them uh, at our place this year and then go to Miami, uh, and then we're in the ESPN tournament out, out in Anaheim, which uh, we open up with San Diego State. So, And we kept uh, Davidson on a schedule, a very, very good regional game for us so uh, just trying to, to, to do the right things for the team for the fans and then certainly put ourselves in a position to be a postseason team. Doug you talked about those rule changes how do you think it's going to affect basketball in general and, and your team in particular? Yeah well that's that's a great question one of the, one of the stats that we were really good at last year that's not sh kind of shown up in publications is we were one of the top 10 teams in the country in playing defense without fouling so I you know we didn't send people to the free throw line a lot so I, that's really important to me 
Um, but you really have to play defense with your hands up now. And um, uh, I think it'll, pre uh, it'll affect pressing a little bit. I know they want to score more so they can, you can drive the ball more, but it also says, begs the question, do you really want to foul 60 feet from the basket? And you really have to play defense with your hands up and keep your hands off. And I think it'll take some time for some kids to adjust to it. Well, Doug, it's great having you in the College of Charleston in the CAA and for yourself back in the CAA, and we look forward to it. And I know a lot of media people like myself are already petitioning to get down to Charleston for some games. <laughs> it's a nice place. Uh, you know, I've, li I've lived in some nice, nice communities, Annapolis being one of them. But uh, Charleston is great. It's great to see Coach Woolham. It's been some, some time, and uh, nice to be back where I know some friendly faces. All right, Doug, thanks very much. Good seeing you. Thanks. Doug Wojcik, as Charlie said, one of the top 25 all-time in the CAA.